hi folks welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we will discuss another entity of the interstitial lung diseases which is non specific interstitial pneumonia so before we discuss further about the nsip let's revisit how we have to approach the chronic interstitial pneumonias and uh, so in our histological algorithm whenever we have a lung parenchyma to diagnose the chronic interstitial pneumonias first on the low power under the microscope we have to determine whether the lesion is present in a diffuse manner versus it is present in a patchy manner if the lesion is present in a diffuse and a uniform manner then we have a three differentials which includes dip which we have already discussed the second is the nsip which we will discuss in this video and the third is the lymphocytic interstitial pneumonia so after that then we have to see whether the lesion has the homogeneity versus the heterogeneity so if the lesion has the homogeneity it means the lesion is present in the all the same stage of the development then we have to look on the intensity of the mononuclear infiltrates if the mononuclear infiltrate is high then most likely we are dealing with the lip if the mononuclear infiltrate is low then we have to look for the pigmented macrophages if they are high then we are most likely dealing with the dip if they are low then most likely we are dealing with the nsip and then we have to uh, make a distinction between the nsip nsip versus the uip because these both lesions carries the different prognosis so starting from the definition of the nsip nsip is characterized by the diffuse and the uniform involvement of the alveolar walls or alveolar septa either by the chronic inflammation or either by the fibrosis so on the basis which component is uh, predominant either if it is a chronic inflammation which is predominant it means high number of the lymphocytes and the plasma cells are present in the alveolar walls then we will name it as cellular nsip and if we have a fibrosis predominant then we will name it as a fibrotic type of the nsip so what is the distinction or prognostic impact or why we are making distinction in between these two subtypes because of the prognosis or uh, in between them the cellular carries the better prognosis compared to the fibrotic type however overall nicp has the better prognosis especially compared with the uip uip carries poor prognosis especially compared to nsip and nicp sip is the second most common idiopathic interstitial pneumonia and in terms of the epidemiology commonly it appears around the age of 50 to 60 years and it has the female predominance however there is a no clear association with the tobacco use or with the smoking use however it has the clear association with the connective tissue uh, type of the diseases and in terms of a clinical presentation it has totally non specific signs and symptoms and which includes like a dyspnea on exertion dry cough fatigue weight loss and on the auscultation we could have a end inspiratory a fine crackles in the bivasilar region of the lungs while in terms of the pathophysiology most likely nicp is associated with the underlying connective tissue disorders and uh, sometimes if the connective tissue disorder is totally undiagnosed or uh, asymptomatic and the patient can present with the nicp first and the nicp will lead further investigation about any connective tissue disorder present in the uh, patient other diseases which are associated uh, associated with uh, that lesion includes hypersensitivity pneumonitis drug induced injury or any infectious process and some forms are idiopathic as well while hrct is the best modality to diagnose or to suggest the features or patterns of the nicp with the features includes there are like a diffuse ground glass opacities reticular type of the opacities and traction bronchiectasis 
while the features which are not suggestive of the uh, NSIP includes irregular linear opacities, honeycombing, and the nodular opacities. These features most likely are suggestive of the UIP. So this is one of the HRCT of the uh, NIS, uh, SIP patient. So in this HRCT, we can clearly see that there is a reticular type of the opacities which are present in a diffuse manner. And we have a diffuse ground glass opacities as well, which are present throughout the both lungs. While discussing about the microscopic features, as we already mentioned that it's a diffuse and a uniform type of the in inflammation have the homogeneity, uh, uh, homogeneity and uh, depends whether there's a high amount of a cellular infiltrate or whether it's a fibrotic predominant, it will be type accordingly. And uh, uh, in this lesion frequently, we, uh, we can have a lung architecture is uh, frequently preserved in this lesion. So this is one of the low power histology uh, histological picture of the NSIP. So first thing we have to appreciate in this uh, lesion is that the whole lung parenchyma is involved in this lesion. And whole lesion has the uniform and the homogeneity into it. And the second feature we have to note that the alveolar wall are quite thick or the alveolar septa are thickened. And if we go on the high power, we can appreciate that the alveolar septa contains the lymphocytes and the plasmatic type of the cells in the alveolar walls. And if the lymphocytic plasma cells are predominant in the alveolar walls, then we are dealing with the cellular type of the NICP. And if in case we have a high number or high amount of a fibrosis compared to the infl uh, inflammatory cells, then we are dealing with the fibrotic type of the uh, NSIP. And uh, the feet, sometimes in the NICP, we could have some honeycombing changes as well, but they are not significant or remarkable compared to what we see uh, in the UIP and the other features which could suggestive of the UIP includes like a fibroblastic type of the foci and the heterogeneity uh, of the lesion. So those features suggest of the UIP while the uniformity, homogeneity and the cellular infiltrates are the fibrosis in the alveolar walls uh, along with the underlying connective tissue disorders. These all features uh, our favors towards the NICP. And overall, NICP has the better prognosis compared to the UIP. While in terms of the treatment, if the patient uh, underlying uh, connective tissue disorder has been treated, most likely the patient will have a better uh, prognosis of the NICP as well. In some condition, corticosteroids are used but if the patient is refractory, then the immunosuppressive therapy and ultimately in the uh, refractory type of the uh, cases, the lung transplantation becomes the only uh, treatment, uh, only management uh, therapy for the patients. While in the terms of the prognosis, as we discussed earlier, NICP has the better prognosis compared to the UIP and the other uh, interstitial pneumonias. So this is the end of my video. Thank you so 